Yes, got it. Om, Namaste, and good morning to everybody. My name is Mani Mystery, and I'm going to do the yoga session today. Uh, today is 14th of July, and it's Thursday, it's 2022. And I hope you will enjoy my yoga session today. We'll try to do what we can. It's very, very hot today, so I can do some of some of the physical exercise, but uh, not all of it. So we can do lots of other things. So I hope you are all well and ready for yoga today. So we sit in Gyan Mutra with a index finger and a thumb. Make sure your fingers are straight, make sure your back is straight and you're sitting in a comfortable posture, either on the floor or on the, on the chair. And we take a deep breath and we do a bastika for 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. So it's two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. When you're doing bastika, your stomach comes out when you breathe in and your diaphragm relaxes as you breathe out. And relax. Yes. Sitting in the same mudra, we're going to chant Om three times. So we take a deep breath. Ah, oh. Ah, oh. Oh. Put your hands up and rub your hands, get all the energy, wake up the chakras up. Cup your hands, keeping your eyes closed, and put it over your eyes. Feel that warmth and energy. And slowly, slowly open your eyes. And then pass all the energy over your eyes, over your eyebrows, on your face, on your forehead over your head, and your neck, and your ear, and then the rest of the body. Before I start any exercise, I just want to give you a health and safety warning. So if, uh, always take medical advice, what exercise you are capable of doing it. Your doctor will know your history, so he will be able to guide you. Uh, what exercise you, you can do and what you can't do it. Any, because you, you're suffering from your, or any, any conditions or any disease, you know what, what's the best for you. So do whatever you can. Don't force yourself to do anything that will harm you. If you can't do, you can just, you know, you can move your fingers or toes, whatever you can, or you're able to, you can do the breathing exercise. We all have to do the breathing exercise. That will help you to open up your lungs. So first of all, I'll do some lung meridian. So lung meridian, there are 12 of them, but we're going to concentrate on a few of them. So first of all, 
the one one is here one and then we've got five and then we've got seven and then we've got nine and then eleven the the lung meridian what what it does it helps you open up your lungs and relax you and keep your lungs healthy now you can do this while you also sitting down watching television so first of all we do where our <coughs> Uh, collarbone is so there's one here so we're just going to put a pressure on there just, can just can you repeat this once? sorry please, please repeat this once please. all right so we will do the where the collarbone is so <clears throat> just going to tap it and tap it gently don't tap it hard you don't want to break your bones now again here on, on the left side, same here. And then you go on your line and you got number five there, just where your elbow is and just go either side, left side, put a pressure on there and then you pump. But that helps you open up your lungs and also help with the good circulation. And we do the same thing on the other side, on the left, and pump. You're in and out, did you do it? So that's five, and we got like three and four in between. And then we go into number seven. So you got six in the middle and number seven there. So you put your fingers like that, dump together, Put your fingers like that, and where the middle finger is, or we'll turn around, and then you put that pressure on it. And then you do the same here. All right. <coughs> Two, three, nine. And then you got 11. Nine, sorry, nine. So you come from your tip of your uh, thumb, you come come down where the thumb and the wrist joins. So that's your pressure point there. You do that. <clears throat> that is number nine. I hope you all remember. Here, same. And the last one is number 11, is tip of your toes there, just where your nail is. We just put a pressure point there. This is also, you know, the tip of your toe is, uh, your thumb is also for your brain. But this is also help you to open up your lungs as well right in the top there. And the last one we're going to pump up the lymph fluid. So lymph fluid is, so you put your three fingers like that and whether your middle finger is, or three fingers, and your middle, right, index finger put a pressure on there <clears throat> and that will help to pump pump your lymph fluids because we are always pumping up our lymph fluids all the time but if you have got some <clears throat> swelling this will help you to reduce the swelling on also it removes the dead cells and helps uh, prevent the sickness even in the pregnancy you know you put a pressure point and some belts there I have a belt, I don't know where I put it now. So that's what, this is very good for pumping up your lymph fluid. So next we're going to do some more pressure points. So we're going to rub your hands first, and then we're going to just give it a And then you're just going to do clapping. So you cup your hands, and then we do nine times. We do it here. One, two, three. Here. One, two, three. Eight, one. And again here as well. One, two, three, four. This also helps to <coughs> um, remove the lymph fluid as well. So it can help you to pump up the lymph fluid. So let me do this one again. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it again. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last time. One, two, three. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. So that's open up your lung meridian so we can do some breathing exercise. We open up, do some more lung exercise. So first of all, we just sit in a um, Chitri Mudra. So Chitri Mudra is, it, it's a Gyan, Gyan, Gyan Mudra, but it's upside down. It goes on your knees. And we're going to do um, Pastika for two and a half seconds to breathe in, and two and a half seconds to breathe out. Here, I'm also going to do Kapal Bhate. So for health and safety warning, People um, who had a surgery done within six months, please do not do kapal bhati. Ladies who are pregnant, try to get pregnant, going through monthly cycle, don't do it. Anybody who's got a high blood pressure and, and um, a heart problem, they can do it slowly uh, or they can just do pastika. Any other conditions that you can't do kapal bhati, please do not do it because uh, you don't want to harm you. It's a forceful breathing. Uh, you're breathing at the same time as well, but you're moving your stomach more. So first of all, we do um, the Kichiri Mudra. This will open up the bottom part of your lungs. So we're going to do Bastika for 30 seconds. So take a deep breath. Two and a half seconds to breathe in, second to breathe out. Using the same mudra, we do kapal bhati. And relax. Next, we will do Adi Mudra. Adi Mudra is you put your thumb in and then fold the fingers and it goes on your knees. Adi Mudra is the first mudra. We consider it as a first mudra because when the babies <coughs> start to grow in the womb, the first part of the hand, the first part of the arm is the hand and then it will grow. And when a baby is born, you will sit they're born with the fist. And when they give it the first cry, you open up your hand and then they go back. So that is the first breath. And they will open up the lungs for the rest of their lives. So this is it's called the first mudra, it's Adi Mudra. So we're going to do Pastika and this will open up the top part of your lungs. So we do Pastika for 30 seconds. Let it go about that thing.
and relax. <laughs> Next, we're going to expand further and stretch our lungs and our ribs. So if you want to you know, stretch your legs, you can do that. And we're going to breathe in. Always when you go up, you will breathe in. And when you come out, come down is breathing out. So you breathe in, open up your arms, stretch your arms for a few seconds. And then you breathe out. You do 10 times. And relax. <clears throat> Next, we're going to strengthen our arms <clears throat> again, making more. We, every time you're doing, you do an also fast plastica. So if you've got high blood pressure uh, and have problem, please just be careful. Do it slowly when you do the fast plastica. So we can <clears throat> put it on there and swing around. <clears throat> Time. Then 10 times be going up. As you go up, <clears throat> you open up your palm, then come down, you make a fist. So you breathe in. And 10, relax. <clears throat> because it's hot, so we do some numbers less. <laughs> Next, we're going to do breathing. So we're going to, for the anxiety, so you just take a deep breath and then blow out as you blow out in a stroke with your mouth. So go. Do it last time. And relax. Other anxieties that you tap it on your thymus gland. Thymus gland is between your thyroid and your sternum. So <coughs> here. And this will help to activate your thymus gland, releases the hormones. And then help you to produce lots of white cells that help fight infection and also help you to increase your immunity as well. So you can do it that way, or you can also put a pressure on there and we do kapal bati. And relax. Next, we're going to do some coughing. Um, exercise. So you breathe three times and the fourth time you breathe and then you cough. This has helped you to remove all the flames. If you got lung disease, this will help you to uh, release your, uh, loosen up your mucus and then you cough it out. And also it prevents the uh, heart attack. So when you, if you feel you're going to have to make coughing, that will help to pump up your um, heart as well. So you want to do a deep breath first. So this time we're going to cough. So you breathe in. Then you cough. <coughs> Stay down just for a few seconds. Do it again. <coughs> then I'll do a dog pose. People who've got lots of chest infection, very good. So we sit there, or you can sit on a chair on a, on a sofa. If you're on a bed, you can put a double two pillows and then you do it like a dog pose. So you get, take a deep breath and you cough. 
<coughs> and sorry, you go down <coughs> and you cough <coughs> and then stay there. Do one more time so that you get a deep breath. <coughs> you stay down. Longer you stay is better for you, but that will help you get rid of all the mucus from you. Uh, chest. Next we will do Bastika. So we're going to sit in Gyan Mudra. So whichever, you know, you can sit Padasan, uh, Tukhasan, or you can sit Vajasan, sit, you know, make sure your back is straight or in a chair. And we sit in a Gyan Mudra. So Gyan Mudra is help you to relax, concentrate, and help you to um, <clears throat> Uh, help you to memorize more as well and help you to calm down and uh, release the anxiety. And if you do with the Khichri Mudra, Khichri Mudra is you take your tongue out and then you go touch right at the top of your palate. That will help to activate your vagus nerves. So vagus nerve is the biggest nerves in our body and it branches off to all parts of, the, of our organs and then help to make their own functions. And also it's... Um, help uh, activate the parasympathetic system. So that will help you to calm down, release anxiety again, and help you for meditation as well. And then you concentrate on your third eye, then this is all, all together, you it will help you to relax and release anxiety, <clears throat> give you good concentration and give you, you go into your meditation. And it's two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. And you can, you can do it longer. If you can hold the breath longer, you can do three or up to five minutes as well. So you can start. Okay. What Bastika is doing, when you're breathing in, you're breathing in oxygen. It mixes with the blood, so it purifies the blood. It's increase your lung capacity, doing 30 to 50%. This help to fight the infection. It releases hormones, balances the hormones, controls your body temperature. You are exercising your internal organs as well. Breathing in and you're removing the toxin as you breathe out. So you're cleaning your lungs. This will help you to increase your immunity. So by doing all this exercise so far, we done meridian lung exercise. So keep your lungs healthy. First thing it can be done anytime. And you must do it in the fresh air, if possible. Do Pastika at the end of your hard day, if you're working very hard, if you're tired, do this exercise. Put your hands together. Spread it out. 
Let's do some leg exercise now. So we're just going to stretch our legs. Oh. <clears throat> stretch our legs, and we're going to move our muscles. So we just massage it, make it loose. It becomes stiff everywhere. And then we go on. Inside, outside, up to your front as well, all in the back, all these muscles. And then just make sure your hands, the, you know, it does straight and you're straight. And then just you're going to lift off the knee. So put your hand on your knee. So put your heels together. You breathe in and lift your hip and your knee up and bring it down. Again, that's give the strength on your calf muscles, lower leg, and your heel as well. So a good exercise for you to do a lot of pain in your knee. Do more often, do one more time. And relax and do more. <coughs> We, we, we learn from Suluji that if you've got a lot of knee pain, so just you got your pressure point on there. I'm sorry, I can't take my... <laughs> and you just do it 10, 20 times, or you can do it more. And then you do the same, just underneath, not on the kneecap, but just, just beside it. Okay, you find, your, find your pressure point there, so you do there as well. I do it more often to release pain. And then you go, you massage it. Same here. Do it longer for your pain. And then you do the same here with the other knee. You do the it does work. I have been doing it when I'm sitting down. So I think we've got to put the mind, you put your mind to it, then you, you know, you put in the pressure point in it and, you know, I want to get better and, you know, to release this knee pain. We suffer from knee pain a lot. So if you put our mind in, and you can use the pen that um, Sir Randy has given us if people has bought it. So that work as well. So we do all this exercise you know, on your own time. So just next one is going to lift. You support your knee and we lift up five times. So breathing in and out, three, four, and five. Again, we're going to rotate one, two, three, four, and five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do cycling. One, two, three, four, and five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, and one. And reverse. We do the same with the other one. You can hold it this way if you find it comfortable. One, two, three, four. Five. Rotate one, two, three, four, and five. Reverse five, four, three, two, one. Cycling two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And just relax. <coughs> Next, we're going to do put your right leg or, or left foot, sorry, foot or your left thigh. If you can't do it, you put it at the side and then you just bend it like this. But I'm going to do it over there. So you support your ankle, your foot, and then you breathe in, bring your knee up to your nose, hold it a few seconds, and then you come down as far as you can to breathe out again.
One more time. And relax. <coughs> then we're going to rotate the ankle. That's, that's massaging as well for ankle joints. <coughs> Make sure it's moving nicely. But if you've got a lot of pain or you've got swelling, just do it gently. Sometimes you have a bone, you know, a fragile bones. So do it gently, don't break it. <laughs> then we're going to do <coughs> pressure point. We don't want to hurt you, anybody. So all the pressure points, you've got your sinuses on top of your toes and your fingers as well. So we do all this. Top of your toe is the brain, middle one is the neck, and then bottom one is the thyroid. <coughs> You do that, and then between your last toes and your little little toes, sorry, is your uh, uh, eye point there, <coughs> and no, sorry, ear. And this is the those two second toes and the third toe between the, is your eye point. It's the same here, so you got your eye point on there, <coughs> and then you go this the right leg, so you got your lungs on the top. And then you come down, then you have your stomach, your kidney, your adrenal glands, your liver, and your pancreas. Then you come down to the lower part of your digestive system over there. And the side is a spine. <coughs> the front is a liver point there as well, pressure point between the first and the second toes. And then all other, so you need to put your finger there. And then rub it. Okay, massage it with the oil, good for you. And then we're going to just lift up and just going to walk like a baby. And then bring it up there if you can, <coughs> bring it down. And then we do the same thing with the other one. So bring it up, then you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <coughs> Rotate. Another way. <coughs> Pressure point again. All of them. On the left foot, just underneath your little toe, is your heart point. The same here. And then it's your little finger is your heart. Then you have lungs. Then all of the, <coughs> the digestive organs in the middle. The kidneys, the adrenal glands, and the lower part of the digestive system. Spine. <coughs> Same in the front. Rub it, tap it, then walk on bare feet, and then hold. And then take it up. I do butterfly. Butterfly is very good for your sciatic pain and exercises your all your calf muscles, your thighs. And also pumping enough your lymph fluid. If you are sitting on the floor watching tellies, do this. Very good. And do all your knee exercise. That's very good for you to really a lot of pains. Because now we'll be doing a lot of gardening as well. We are sitting down, up and down, bending down. So you, those little exercise will help. And we like. Because it's hot, I'm just going to do a nitric oxide exercise and do Surya Namaskar. And if you have time, we do jogging, jogging. So, nitric oxide, nitric oxide, of, that it, it's, um, it's just, they are colorless gas and um, it helps you to keep our lung, it help to expand our lungs and keep our blood vessels healthy. They are tiny, tiny molecules. They are found in our cells. 
and they're, they're like bubbles. When you blow bubbles and burst, when, when that burst is opened up your blood vessels, that will keep you healthy. And the, what, what it does with the blood is that when you open up your blood vessels, the blood can flow very easily. Our blood is thicker than the water. So you just need a little bit of wider space to flow easily. And if you've got a high blood pressure, it will help you to, nitric oxide will help you to lower it down. But if you otherwise it will maintain your normal blood pressure. So that is very good for, or nitric oxide is very good for two things. So it's first of all, it will expand your lungs because sometimes when you go infection, your lungs have become very, very stiff and you can't open up. So the nitric oxide will help you to open up your lungs and then open up your blood vessels. So you will have a good oxygenation and you have a good blood circulation as well. And that's keep our lungs, you know, stable. So uh, what, what we need to do is make sure that we eat healthy food. How, how do we keep ourselves healthy? So you, you must eat some well, vegetables, uh, like I've got some exercise here. So, um, so to help, uh, to, to produce, how do you produce naturally? So you eat green, green leafy uh, vegetables containing nitrates. So it's like celery, or you've got some beetroot, broccoli, dark chocolate, things like that. You know, it what happens, you mix it with the saliva, then it, you chew properly and you got the bacteria that will help to produce this nitric in your in, in your mouth, goes into the stomach, we, we mix it with the juice, and then it will become nitric oxide, and then it goes down into your uh, into your bloodstream. And when it, when it goes into your bloodstream, it mixes with the oxygen, so it becomes nitric oxide. So you've got to make sure that you do not do a chemical mouthwash because it will, it will destroy the good bacteria. So you use the mouthwash that will help you like lemon and you know water or, or oil or any other uh, mouthwashes. Salt, salt gargles are good as well. But like I said, if you've got a high blood pressure, try not to use too many salt, otherwise it absorbed into your <coughs> blood. Um, so how do we keep a, you know, a healthy? Because it, it's, it's a gas that will kill bacteria and viruses and it will help you to get the COVID. So if you have got COVID woman, do this exercise, it will help to produce lots of nitric oxide. It will open up your lungs and it will fight, fight infection. It has proven and it has been uh, used with the COVID patients in the hospital as well. And it, like I said, it opened up your blood, uh, your blood vessels, increase your oxygen level and give you lots of energy, prevent heart disease, uh, improve your brain functions as well. And also uh, if you go any treatment with your sinus, and, and, I mean, acute rhinos sinusitis, that will help you. Uh, if you go some like a polyp, we call it like a little that will help also to uh, resolve this, uh, make, it, make it better. And if you go any thought, disease that will also have throat cancers. People who got a throat cancers have been having this nitric oxide treatment as well. And if you've got any allergy, because it's, you know, the, the nitric, as you, when you breathe in, we are breathing nitric oxide all the time, but we need to, we need to release it. So when we release, when we do the humming exercise, we, we release it and it goes into the rest of your respiratory system. And then when we do the exercise, it will will throughout your body and will give you good blood circulation and, and a blood oxygenation. So we call it blowout exercise. As we, as we age, it becomes less. So we need to make it more. Everything becomes less or slow down as we age. So we need to keep ourselves healthy during lots of exercise. So OM, Bramley and uh, humming will help you to produce lots of nitric oxide. So we do the nitric oxide exercise and then uh, humming, we do it five times. So when you do the humming, you pull your, close your teeth, bite your teeth together and pull your tongue against your teeth. And then you can do Khichri Mudra and that will help you to produce more nitric oxide. So we just close your ears with your hand, close your eyes, the teeth, uh, pull your teeth together. Then you take a deep breath. Mm. 
Last time. Mm. And the next. Whenever you're ready, we'll stand up and do the nitric oxide. We do one time. And then we do Surya Namaskar. We have time, we do jogi jumin afterwards. Whenever you're ready, or you can do also sitting down, people can stand up. So make sure you breathe in and out. So we do the squat first. You don't have to do 20 times. You can do 10, 10 times if you feel tired. Next, when we do the walk. And relax. Next one, we're going to lift up the dish ball. So the hand only goes up to there. again and we're going to do Surya Namaskar. I'll do it twice. Let me do it twice on the chair. As we are not doing jogging jogging because we think have time. I just wanted to do some bit of a walking. You go forward then go backwards. Forward again, and backwards, and then we're going to walk on our toes, tiptoes, or just balancing as well, if you can. Good. Then we do on the heel. This also helps to pump pump your limb fluid as well. And go back. You can. And I don't think you can see me. <laughs> and then you put your you walk sideways. So put your put your feet sideways and walk sideways. That's a pressure on your spine as well. So you then you walk straight. So when you are pumping up the limb fluid, you go then on your on your toes, on your heels, toes, on your heels. So all this help. Are we going to do Surya Namaskar? 
the Surya Namaskar again is a, it's a full body workout. You are soliting the sun and you're helping it to release lots of hormones. So again, do whatever you can. Please do not do if you if you've got a lot of back pain, don't go back. Don't for don't go forward. And if you've got a hernia, don't go backwards. You just do whatever you can. So we do numbers. So we go into <coughs> and namaste. And we come at the end of your mouth. So you breathe in, bend your uh, hands, and then you go back. Bend as far as you can. <laughs> breathe out. Number three. So make sure you have both, both hands beside your feet. And then you, number four, breathe out, take the right leg back. And you're looking up, expand your chest, resting on your left knee. Number four, you breathe out, left leg. And number five, the mountain position here. And then number six, breathe out, knees down on the floor, chin and the chest. Then you come up. Ujjasan, number seven, you breathe in, then breathe out, back, back to uh, mountain position, that's number eight. Number nine, bring the right leg forward, pick it up again. Number 10, bring the left leg forward. Then again, breathe in and come up number 11, and, and back, and then come back in the front, number 12. So we do numbers. With the left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Right leg, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and eleven. And relax. I'll do one set on the chair. We go look at. You want to do it, all can do it. So we just make sure you're sitting comfortable, legs slightly apart, and you can come a bit forward. So when you bend down, you can have a cushion at the back if you like. So we can start. So we do one, raise your hand, go back, two, then you come down, three, four, bring the right leg up, put it in the chair, four, looking up, five, put your um, heel with your nose, your knee, sorry, number six, up, number seven, down, number eight, bring the left leg up, look it up, number nine, down, number 10, bring it down, it goes, and then number 11, up again, bend back, and number 12, we do with the left leg, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <coughs> Do one more time. One, two, three, right leg up, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Do the left leg. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And relax. <laughs> A deep breath if you okay. so next I'm going to do <clears throat> do some hand exercise just to so we can start with our hands is for good for the arthritis so just put a pressure on it if you're <clears throat> trying to grab somebody <laughs> good exercise for your uh, for arthritis, gout, or also couple uh, couple syndromes, yeah, couple tunnel syndromes, and then you go. Put your thumb inside and do it. Yeah. The next, when you lift the thumb out and you just put pressure like that. That will activate the left side is your heart, as I said, and then you, you got your liver, your pancreas, and your kidney. So you're, you're activating all your organs. And then it's the same on the other side, but only left side is your heart and your spleen. So you do that. So you do that exercise right before you do. But in the gasm, it's good for you, releasing the insulin as well. And then you put both together, then you turn it. Right, okay, together. And then reverse. And then you open up our hands. One, two, three. This is also good for the, because we're using the arms, it's good for the tennis elbow and as well for the frozen shoulder. And then we turn and tap it at the back. With a smile. <laughs> we get all serious, don't we? And the side way. One, two, as long as you enjoy it. Nine and ten. And then you put your fingers, hand there, and then you bring both elbows together and stretch all your chest, ribs, giving you good upper part of your body exercise. With a ten, frozen shoulder as well. And then next we will do reverse. <clears throat> and relax and then interlock the finger uh, like this or you can just hold your wrist whichever you find comfortable. And then we go up. Then you just make sure your head is straight, your spine is straight. And just help you to stretch all the left side of your, right side of your <coughs> um, body. And again, just do all the stretching exercise when you get up in the morning. It also help you with constipation because it exercises you into the organs at the same time. And <coughs> next we're going to do for your neck, so you interlock your finger again, press it at the back, and then you can put a pressure against your hand and, and against your head, press it each other, and then just hold the breath and you breathe out. Good for the spondylitis in your neck. Then put it in the front. That's also how to relax. On the right side. And 
the left side. And the facts. So do some neck exercise. So in the neck exercise, we're going to look up and down. Just keep your eyes open. You breathe in as you go up. You breathe out, you come down Two, three times. And then we're going to go like pendulum. So the, on the right, breathe in, breathe out, and then left. One more time. And then you breathe in, and then you look back as far as you can. And then breathe out and come in the front. Breathe in. And left. One more time. Do more often when you're home and give it a good massage. You can always have a scarf or a towel that will help you know, massage it. It will help you. Um, your, uh, your stiffness will go away and release a lot of pain. Then we're going to look up. No, we, no, sorry. We're going to look left, then up, and right, and down. We're going to make a circle. Left, up, right, down. Left, up. Right, down. Now, right, up, left, down. So you make a big, big, good, you know, circle if you can. Right, up, left, down. Right, up, left, down. Right, up, left, down. You can just make a big circle. You can just circle it if you can, but make sure that you don't feel dizzy. So you can do a big circle and the other way. And people who've got a lot of neck pain and you can't do this, just put your neck down and go from side to side. That will also help and release the tension and the pain. And then you're able to move your neck around as well. <clears throat> Next, we'll do some kapal bhakti. So again, Health and safety warning, please do not do it. If you can't do it, explain all the health and safety warning. And kapal bhati, kapal means forehead and bhati means glow. What kapal bhati helps you is to expand your lungs, make your lungs stronger. And at the same time, you're exercising your internal organs. will give you a, a good lung, um, uh, increase the lung capacity and also help you to fight infection. So doing the mudra with it, all different mudra. So you've got to concentrate what your problem is and you do it. If you put your mind into it, it will work. But we're only going to do for a, few, for a minute or so, but you can do it longer. Five minutes is a very good idea. If you can able to do it, it will give you a good effect as well. So whatever your problem is, just do that mudra more often. So first of all, I'm going to... Um, make, make sure you, our back is straight so we can just correct our spine. So do your namaste on there and make sure your hands are straight and we do kapal bhati. And relax. So this will help to correct the spine and also up your lungs as well. Next is a sahaj um, sang mudra. So you interlock your fingers and then you put your thumb together. And this you just carry on doing <coughs> kapal bhati. And this is a it's, it's a help you that it's straight your spine spinal as well as well give you a good flexibility. And if you have got a slip disc, it will help you. Um, to release the pain as well and have to correct it. And if you've got any throat disease or if you've got stamina, 
um, for any speech defect, this will help as well. There's a lot of modula that got, you know, help you with your thyroids. This is one of them. And also it will help you to calm your mind down and also help you with the digestive system. So we put it there. And relax. Then we do Marudan Mudra. So that's again also help you to correct the spine. It stretches the spine. So it's, that's it from, from top from the from the bottom to the top. So we'll do Rasika just for a couple for 10 seconds first. And relax. Then we're going to stretch the spine from the top to bottom. So you put your thumb upside down. Just a stick for 10 seconds. And relax, go outwards, bring the muscle outwards. And inwards. And relax. And then we're going to do Marut, <coughs> Marut Lan Mudra. So it's like an eagle pose. So if you can do it, we don't have to do it like this. And then my right leg is up there. So my right hand. And then you bring it, twist round your, your left. So you go like this. And then you're facing your right hand <coughs> on this side. We need to cup out that. This will help you with the digestive system, correct your spine as well. And relax because this also helps you to <coughs> straighten your calf muscles and your thigh as well. And the other one. Then you go other way around. So your right hand goes at the bottom, your left hand on the top, and you are going that way. And then you're looking up. And relax. Next one is a gomukasu. So left, my, my left leg is up there, so I'm going to put my left hand at the back. And the right hand goes behind and see if you are able to touch. And you do kapal bhati. This straightens your liver, your kidney, your chest, and improves your arthritis as well as your gout. And we swap over. Right hand will go back and the left hand behind. Then go up. And relax. <coughs> Let's just do for a short while. And then another one is the sun mudra. I like I like that because it's very it's very helpful to, for your thyroid and for your digestive system. And we also got more benefits that we can we can always look it up. So I'll just make sure that you do you can do it properly. So open your palm, thumb in the middle, then close your thumb with your fingers, and then bring the other fingers on the top, 
and then you join your index finger and the thumb to make it some. <coughs> and so they give this good for the digestion thyroid. So we'll do it at the bottom first. And relax. We we'll do the other one for the thyroid. So um, again, close your all the fingers together. Sorry, I'm doing fast, but you can do it slowly. You don't have to do it like me. You do whatever you can. Now you're going to do Vakrasan. So you're going to stretch your legs out again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to massage the right side. It's only left side because we're going to bring our leg here if you, if you can do it. And then you can do it this way. Your right hand goes at the back. And then you try to touch your knees. People who can do it over the knee, they can do it. Yeah. And then hand at the back, not too far, like this, like there. Right hand, then you push your knee and then hold your knee there. And then you look back and look above it. And relax. You're going on, you're doing on the right side, so you're massaging your left side. And we do the opposite. Same thing. Right hand. Okay. And then move back. And relax. I like to do mudra because it's very, very effective and it's very good for everybody. So <clears throat> this is also released, the, the Rakrasana also released the shoulder pain and it strengthens your back and improves your digestive system, as I said. So next we will do the Udan mudra. So Udan mudra is all your fingers, sorry, and uh, your little finger stays up and all your finger touching the thumb. And we're going to do it on that and we're going to getting more benefits again, twisting. So we do Kapalvati, we'll exercise your internal at the same time. And relax, this is the Udan Mudra, it's for thyroid and also the, if you got to improve your voice, this is very good if you've got throat infection and also if you've got speech defects. Other one is a Vayu Mudra, the Vayu related problem. It's for gout and arthritis. And also if you've got any gas uh, problems, that will help you as well. And relax because this is also for sciatic pain and any joint pain. So you do the Vayu Mudra. Next is a Prana Mudra. Prana Mudra is little finger and your index finger together. And this is Prana is the most powerful Mudra. It will boost up your energy, your immunity because Prana, you need Prana to survive. So you, take, you do Kapal for that. And also it's good for your eyes. And relax. We will do some grinding just to give you a break from mudra. So, again, we do linger mudra that will build up your heat, uh, body heat as well, as well as help you to lose weight. And as you breathe in, you go back and you breathe out as you come forward. 
So this is all for the weight loss as well as your uh, digestive system. So breathe in, do 10 times. Make sure hands are straight. Now reverse. And relax. Next, we're going to stretch our legs and touch your opposite toes, and you're going to look back. So, breathe in and out. Eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next is a makan. Same benefits, weight loss, and exercising all your hip, legs and hips and everything. So we do. Well done. <laughs> You're doing very well. I can see you all. Very good. Okay. Next, we will do prana mudra. No, um, up, up na mudra. Uh, sorry, up, up, up na mudra. Yeah, so it's like a day of pose. So all the toxin that we gather, we're going to remove that. So middle finger touching the thumb and two fingers, and, and we do it. So this, just carry on doing kapalvati. This will remove all the toxins from your kidney, from your liver, from your stomach, and whatever, you know, from your lungs as well. And by twisting it, it's exercising your internal organ. And relax. Next, we will do uh, Vayu mudra, uh, Surya Mudra. So Surya Mudra is your ring finger pressing. And that's also, it's a liver related problem, lowers your cholesterol level. And if you've got diabetes, this is also very good. So if you take a power puppy. And relax. So it's for the weight loss. It's increased the heat as well in the body, the digestion, lowers the cholesterol level in the blood, and all, like I say, all um, liver problem and improves your liver function as well. And then we're going to do um, apana vayu um, mudra. So, so your index finger and then um, pressing against the thumb and the the next two fingers that is the thumb and this is also for the lower blood pressure or if you're climbing up the stairs this is very good and also if you've got a heart problem this is a good mudra so we do this And relax. Next, we do Varun Mudra. Varun Mudra is a little finger pressing the thumb. This is a, a good for your uh, dehydration. If you dehydration, that will help you to drink more water, and then also it helps you to blow your face as well. Even if you got any skin disease, this is a good mudra as well.
You got pimples. That's also good for for this mudra. Last one is for the low blood pressure or asthmatic. So we can do this one. For linga mudra. And relax. <laughs> I'm just going to do a long vlog now. All these mudra, please do more. Uh, any problem that related, so you do the mudra that relate to your problem. It will help you to uh, get better. So we don't have enough time, so we do it short period only. So we're going to do a long vlog. So long vlog is you sit in the vayu surya mudra if you want, or just just do vayu mudra. And we're going to breathe in. We're going to close the right nostril. And then we're going to <clears throat> breathe from the left nostril. And then you close your left nostril. You breathe out from the right nostril. Then you breathe from the same right nostril again. And then you breathe out from the next. It's alternate breathing. The right one is the sun, and the left one is the moon. So you breathe in out warm air, breathing in warm air, and you breathe in cool air from the left side. So we do that how long we long? It's probably like two minutes. So again, sit straight. Kitri Mudra, concentrate on your third eye. Start breathing from the left nostril. Hold the left nostril and breathe out from the right. Two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. We'll do it longer. Alternate breathing is given lungs more chance to take in oxygen. And when you breathe out, you Breathe out longer to get rid of the toxin. That will help you to improve your oxygen level, purifies the blood, giving you good brain function, unblocks your arteries, prevents heart attack. Do this exercise if you have a heart surgery or for heart problems. You can do anyway for prevention. It's better than cure. Even if you are well, do it. Fresh air. It is improve your lung capacity, increase your immunity. And it's benefits for everything. The digestive system increases your, lowers the cholesterol levels. Good for your eyes. You can feel any cataract as well. And you can do any time. You breathe through your right nostril and breathe out from the left and relax. You do Ujjayi. Ujjayi again is a, you're going to make a short um, croquet sounds and then long one, then put your Put your neck down, massage it, and then you breathe out from the left nostril. Puja is to help you to clean your block arteries, also help you with the migraine and prevent thyroid, thyroid problems, improves your thyroid um, glands as well, and you improve your voice, give you a sweet voice, and clean your 
flame as well. So what we do, we just give it a cough first. <coughs> just clear it and then mix sound three times. <coughs> Bring it down. And breathe out. Again. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> And breathe out. <coughs> we do Brahmi. Tomorrow we will do jogging, jogging, and back exercise but to finish it off. So we don't have enough time. So we do Brahmi. Brahmi again is. Uh, also relax your mind, it lowers your blood pressure, it also increases your nitric oxide and improve your lung functions. So we take the glasses off and with your thumb, you just close your ears. Don't put it, don't put your thumb inside your ears, just you got little flaps there, you just close it up, and your three fingers goes over your eyes, and your index fingers goes over your eyebrows. And then you take a deep breath, you just put your tongue against your teeth and take a deep breath and make a Humming sound. Your eye closed, sit in again, Mudra. Just, just do it all three times. We'll chant all three times. We'll take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Silent breathing. Shrug your hands together. Open your eyes. Okay. <clears throat> I will do the pray and then do Sin Hassan and then I have got Surya Kapata. She would like to sing a bhajan. And I will be looking forward for that. It's very nice of her to sing for us. So we do that. Surya first. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaha Sarve Bandrani Prashantu Mahakashi Dukha Bhakpave Om Shanti 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 May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om. We will do Sinhasa and then I will mute everybody afterwards again. So we just <clears throat> so, we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to open our eyes wide and pull your tongue out.
it is very it's good for your eyes. And then. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was lovely. lovely. Is that, that, that you've got? Very nice, Virginia.